What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Collecting Hobbies Presents Wrestling Figure Review. Uh, today we're going to do a action figure review over the new Elite 58 Mickey James. And here's the only other previous figure that she had made by Mattel. So this figure, uh, the new one, this is what it looks like in the package. I've already uh, put the packaging away. She's from Elite Series 58. And we're also going to review uh, Paige. Because this one, even though she's not brand new, they've been showing up at Big Lots. Like the last few months. Elite. 54 and I mean 34, 36, 32s, uh, all sorts of elites. <clears throat> so, as far as Mickey James goes here, this figure is pretty much all new. Um, the Trish Stratus, I believe, came with the same women's championship, but I believe that she's the only one who ever came with this belt. And if it's a really perfect, pretty much, uh, it's on the very, uh, the tightest setting. And um, there's a new face print technology that they're using here. Hopefully this will focus a little better, maybe. There it goes a little. I don't know why it does that, but anyway. So the face print tech, there you go. Face print, see if you look at her right eye on the left side of your screen, it looks like it's a little bit up too far. And it doesn't look like um, I'm not sure if all of her teeth on the bottom are supposed to be painted in, but it looks like, uh, there's a, you know, they're not. <laughs> so, it looks okay. It could be better. My sample is, you know, it's going to vary from figure to figure, obviously. But this is the only one I've seen. Since I picked this up, I picked this up, uh, so this is July, so probably like in June, and this is still the only one I've seen. I haven't even seen Matt Hardy yet. He's in 58, too. But, okay, so let's go over the rest of the figure. Now, this is an all-new head sculpt, because we just I just showed you the other figure. Hair. Her hair seems to be pretty much just one color. It doesn't really have any kind of uh, special shading to it. There's nothing underneath her hair. Um, we'll get into articulation in a bit. The hair is obviously a separate piece that kind of do that on a lot of figures nowadays. But, well, as far as articulation, I don't see her. I don't want to force it. Because, like I said, this is a separate piece glued on. But uh, you can't really move her head more than just that. Because her hair is so long. But uh, there's her design. The paint job is really good. The paint job on this figure, except for her face, is really good. Her face just could be a little bit better. I only bought her because it's the only one I've ever seen. If I see another one, I don't know. If it looks better, I might pick it up. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm actually kind of surprised to open this one. Because I'm normally a Minton card collector. But I don't have a Mickey James. And uh, she's uh, the only one that I have, I think, at the moment, that's actually open. As a championship, except for that Smojo Destroyer guy that I used to have, 
But I took him back because his arm was real wiggly. His hand was all loose. So the paint on this, like I said, it looks fantastic. Or the decals, tampographs, whatever you want to call them. The only thing that's kind of odd, I mean, they even detailed it all the way in the back here. Of course, you can take this off if you want. And the only thing that's a little odd is this is painted on her body. So if she's standing straight like that, it looks like it's all one, you know, top. You can tell from the back it's a little off, but she does have that app crunch because she is an elite. She can move side to side just a tiny bit. You can't swivel it all around like a Black Series figure or a Marvel Legend, unfortunately. I think Mattel should do something about that. Here's the championship belt. This actually looks pretty good. Put page there to block off the looks accurate, at least the front. It doesn't say any name though on the tag. Right down in here it just says women's champion. This is a nice little title belt. It's back metalized, shiny. So as far as her articulation, um, she can move her foot like that and still, and you can spin it around. It's a different kind of joint because you look at the bottom of her foot. This is obviously all new sculpting right here, I think, at least from the waist down. Possibly even the waist up. I think the only thing that they actually reused with the arms. These arms are a lot of figures. One thing that's kind of strange, oh, they even painted her nails. They even got the thumbnail on this one, too. Because that's the only nail you actually see on her hand, is on her fist. And the Walgreens exclusive Maurice, they forgot to paint her nail. But they painted them on here, on the Walgreens Maurice. But um, one thing that's kind of odd is... This has the old style articulation for the elites. The uh, newer elites normally have at least Asuka and Charlotte. They have it. I'll show you right now, real quick. You can see uh, Charlotte. She's got the she's got the swivel joint. Wait a minute. Is it swivel? I don't know. Maybe a little. This is actually kind of flawed, it looks like, because it doesn't really swivel that much. I don't know if there's a ball joint in there. Kind of looks like it, but uh, maybe not. Or maybe so. I don't really know. I can't get the joint to move hardly at all, but it's not like the uh, like the new basic figures, and like Sasha Banks here. They've got the uh, you know the hinge and the swiveling, and it's real easy to swivel. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe they. Uh, I don't know, maybe they stopped doing that. Really? I've only got a few figures, so. <laughs> Let's see. Let's look at Paige real quick. She have the old style? Pretty sure, yeah. But yeah, so far, I mean, I give this figure about a 9 out of 10 just because of the face paint. Though her joint here is kind of messed up a little bit you can see too much of that peg and I had to break it in a little bit because her shoulder was kind of tight and if you pushed up on it to try to get her shoulder to go up then I felt like I was going to pull the bicep off 
but uh, as we were showing articulation, she has swivel hinge at the feet, single jointed knees. She's got the, uh, of course, the twist at the thighs and ball jointed uh, hips. And of course you can turn her at the waist. And then I already show you the ab crunch and she's got ball hinge and swivel shoulders. She's got swivel biceps and swivel, single swivel elbows and twistable wrists. And you can barely move her head just a little bit. But that's Mickey James for you. And uh, um, as a retailer, well, I used to be in the retail business, but I talk to uh, some companies every now and then do reviews for them. If you see my other channel, Collecting and Hobbies, it's actually called Star Wars Collecting and Hobbies now because I mainly do Star Wars stuff. But uh, I'm not sure what's going on with these joints. This is the newest elite figure in the women's division that they have. So maybe they went back to the old style. I know a lot of people complained when they changed it because they did that to hide the joint. So it's more aesthetically pleasing. So, I mean... You can't see that big old ball in there anymore with Sasha Banks. And uh, maybe, see, this is the elite version. So you can't see the big old pin. But I don't know what's going on with these figures. I'm kind of new to them as far as having them open. So. I was going to review Paige, but I guess I'll do that in a separate review because this one's already 12 minutes long. I don't want to go too long. So, um, yeah, that's Mickey James. And I'd recommend her. And, uh, I mean, there's a good way to get the women's championship, too, if you don't already have one. So I think Trish Stratus goes for about 40 bucks. And uh, people charge like 10 bucks or more for this online by itself. So might as well get Mickey James with it. Sometimes you can find these on sale for like 15 bucks. You go to Ringside Collectibles and they have them um, for like $18.99. Free shipping of over $50 sometimes. So, I mean, if, you, if they still have her, I know she's one of the harder ones to get. Yep, but I like her. So, obviously, I opened her. So, it wasn't enough of a detraction to actually make me uh, not open her or not keep her, that paint. So, it's pretty good. I give her probably about, I said nine. Well... I don't know. I guess 9. 9.5. It's a little kind of weird right there, but... Uh, another thing I don't like is these hands. It's, but at least it's not the other kind of slap hand. I don't know. I just don't like those kind of slap hands. I guess they're actually kind of the same. It's just Charlotte here. Alright, so... That's my review of Mickey James. And then I'll be reviewing other figures as well, like Charlotte, Paige, Sasha. <laughs> I already did a review over Becky and Alicia Fox, and I got Carmella sitting there. I got a Bailey and a Nia Jax, so I'll try to review some of these like uh, two at a time. Alright, so I'll see you guys on the next one.